There have been calls for the international community to do more to help a group of Bahraini opposition supporters who have had their citizenship revoked. A statement on Bahrain's Interior Ministry's website says the country's citizenship law allows it to reconsider nationality if a Bahraini damages national security. Here's Emma Hayward. Jalal and Jawad are brothers. Both are members of the opposition in Bahrain, are former parliamentarians, and both have had their Bahraini citizenship revoked. I'm doing, uh, uh, conducting a course uh, in London, and uh, it was around midnight when my wife called. She was crying. Uh, she said, uh, do you know that your, your citizenship has been revoked? And uh, also my, 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 my daughter was, was crying. She collapsed. The brothers are among 31 people who've had their nationality removed. They are now effectively stateless. In general, I can say that I am Bahraini. I born in Bahrain. My parents are Bahraini. I never ever had any nationalities than, than, than Bahraini. My future now is in dark and still I'm not sure that's uh, what's going to happen in the next few days. Both men took part in last year's anti-government protests. Jawad was jailed for several months and says he was tortured during this time. The Farouz brothers' case and that of the others who've had their citizenship revoked has been taken up by a member of Britain's upper house of parliament. I think the international community, the State Department, the British Foreign Office should be exerting pressure on the Bahraini regime, saying that this is contrary to international law, contrary to the Universal Declaration of Light, Rights, Human Rights, and contrary to the, their own constitution, which says that a person's citizenship can only be taken away from him by a process of law. And Jalal and Jawad say they will continue to campaign for democratic reform in Bahrain. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, London.